Okay. Left, okay. Front, okay. Stop motion. Okay. Okay. The device I am introducing now is about the pointing and calling procedure. The procedure has three major merits. First, by pointing at an object, the distance between an operator and the object becomes shorter than before. Second, by voicing it attracts attention. It is often said that when people voice and point at something, they cannot think about anything else but the subject. Third, by speaking and moving our hand, our muscular movement is stimulated and signals are sent to the cerebrum. By doing so, the cerebrum is also stimulated, improving the activity level and making us more cautious. I would like to start explaining about the features of our safety simulator for pointing and calling procedure. This is a simulator to qualitatively verify the difference in the error ratios with and without the pointing and calling procedure. We can test four patterns. No pointing or calling, only calling, only pointing, and pointing and calling, and confirm the effectiveness of pointing and calling. Using level 1 setting, let us actually experience the result. Right vertical 4, horizontal 6, right vertical 4 and horizontal 6. Right vertical 4, horizontal 6, right vertical 4 and horizontal 6. When we enter a correct answer, a green lamp will light up like this. Next, let me enter a wrong answer on purpose. Left vertical 1, horizontal 18, left vertical 1, and horizontal 18. When we enter a wrong answer, a red lamp will light up. At the completion of questions, this screen will be displayed. The first test was taken without the pointing and calling procedure, and the accuracy ratio was 40%. The second test was taken with the pointing and calling procedure, and the accuracy ratio was 100%. In this way, the effectiveness of the pointing and calling procedure can be confirmed with data. Asia Create hopes to reduce as many errors as possible to minimize accidents and injuries. アジアクリエイト。